into the redwoods. So we are here at Redwoods Campground in Northern California. We left San Francisco. We were only supposed to go up to Fort Bragg, but it was such a beautiful day for a drive that we just kept going. We called and canceled our uh, reservation at Fort Bragg, and we came here to the Redwoods. Look at this tree behind me. Look at the size of the trunk. I mean, we've got Redwoods right in our campground, but we're gonna go on a little hike. Uh, it's about a half hour away, so. Come along. Before we left, we bought this book called Your Guide to the National Parks, and it's really come in handy. Every national park that we go to, there's always a couple pages about it, and we read, and it kind of gives us some background information about the park, and then it tells us some favorite hikes and some really good outlook spots to go look at to have really good views. So I was reading about the Redwoods as we were coming into here, and I learned that the redwoods when gold was found it kind of became a boom town and a lot of settlers moved into here and then after all the gold was used up they had to find new ways to make their money so they started logging these huge trees and um, cutting down many many of those and then they had to use these trees for demand during world war ii when they needed more wood and then finally after that president johnson put into act that this became a national park and at that time 90% of the old growth of these huge redwoods had been already cut down. So what we're seeing is only 10% of these trees that were left from back in the day. So we are in just north of Bend, Oregon at the KOA. We're gonna be there for three days and then we're moving down into Bend, Oregon uh, at the Thousand Trails. We could not get into the Thousand Trails prior to the three days we're already gonna be there. So today we are heading down, today I noticed um, our electric brake pull plug that basically will shut down our trailer if it's out is down to a very thin wire. Um, so there's an RV place inside of Bend. I'm going to take that in, get it swapped out with a replacement. Um, and then we're going to Tumalu Falls and we're going to do a hike along the river there up until we see the big falls of Tumalu. I'm excited.
All right, so we've been hiking for a little bit and now we have decided that we are gonna have a spot right here next to the small falls, the little cataracts, and have lunch and some water. And drinks. here that's all these orange ones but four of those are gonna run you plus a shuttle about a hundred bucks a day so anyway so yesterday we went to the Mackenzie River on a whitewater rafting trip and I brought the GoPro and got some pretty cool pictures beforehand. Got a couple during the the uh, whitewater rafting trip. But today we are at Crater Lake National Park and this is pretty beautiful. The lake is extremely blue. I'll show you here. So about 7,700 years ago, this was a volcano that erupted and then when it erupted, it like exploded in on itself and created like a crater and these walls going up around it, they said are 4,000 feet high. And then it started filling in and this is all filled in with either rainwater or water from the snow that's on those mountains that drifts down. So this is the cleanest river or lake in the country. And at points it's 2000 feet deep, the deepest also in the country. And, um, and it took 750 years to fill in with that rainwater or snow melting water. Nice. So, before we came on the trip, we tried to buy some gift cards to places we know would be available pretty much everywhere we went. One of those places was Subway, so today for lunch, we're gonna have Subway by Crater Lake. <laughs> I didn't even look at the lake, I just jumped in. <laughs> 